It was very easy to extract emails from Google search engine. But after an update, it is very, very difficult now. But in this video, I am going to try to make it as simple as possible to extract more than 10,000 of emails using Google search engine within a short possible of time. Are you ready? Let's get into it. Before I start this lesson, those who want to learn how to create an SMTP server, okay, I have a course on Udemy. I'll leave the link at the description and also the first comment. Go and learn how to create your own SMTP server and send bulk emails. All right. Now you are going to use two tools for this lesson. The first one is the Google search engine itself. And the next one is the email extractor extension, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to enter some keywords in the Google search uh, bar, okay? And we are going to use something called Google Docs, okay? It's a kind of inbuilt tool, okay, built by Google itself, okay, to help us to hack or to do exploitations or maybe gather information, you understand? So we are going to use this tool by Google itself to gather some emails. Are you ready? All right, so now let's go to Google search. Now, the first thing to do is to enter the name or the business model that you want okay so if you want ceos managers accountant you write accountant right but if you want like business model like oh electricians you want plumbers you want footballers marketers whatever you just have to just enter it right so for me i want ceo so i'm going to type ceo then then i give a space the second one is the kind of emails you want. Do you want Gmail? Do you want Yahoo emails? Do you want AOL? Do you want Outlook emails? Whatever emails you want, you have. We are going to um, specify over here. So, for instance, I want Yahoo mail. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that into a quotation mark. So that will be Yahoo.com. Then another quotation. Okay, but I'm going to add at in front of it. What I'm trying to say is that I want CEOs, okay, that is using Yahoo email. But where do I want them from? Okay, like city, state, countries. So let's say I want them from Texas, okay. So I'm going to write Texas and I'm going to put that as well inside um, quotation mark as well, okay. Then I am going to give another space. The next thing is where you want your emails from. I mean, website, okay. What kind of website do you want the emails from? Are you looking for emails on social sites, business directories, or what? You have to specify that here. So, for instance, if I want LinkedIn, I have to type in LinkedIn here. But there is a strategy to do that, and I'm going to show you right away. Right? So, if you want Facebook emails, you can type Facebook there. If you want any website at all, okay, as long as uh, the emails are on public usage, okay. So, if you are scrapping emails, going into their database, to scrap emails is illegal, but when you scrap emails from the surface of their page, then it is legal. You understand? So we want to pass the legal way. All right. So for the purpose of this video, I am going to use Facebook. All right. So I am going to type sites. Okay. Then colon. Then Facebook.com. So that's how you are going to write the site. Right. Now, after we are done, we just have to click enter and let's see the magic from the google search engine now as you can see so these are people from texas who are ceo all right on facebook yes so that is it but at first on google you could have extended your search query results so that means you could have extended the result that we are seeing over here so all you just have to do is copy it and go and extract the emails but now we have removed that feature from it so how can we extract more emails all right since the search query result that we could have extended has been taken off so we are going to use an extension for this right so i am going to leave the link of this extension at the description all right all you have to do is click and you'll be redirected to their page and i am reminding you that if you want to learn how you can create your own 
SMTP server that can send bulk emails like 20k, 100k emails. Then I have a course on Udemy. I'll leave the link at the description and also the first comment. So click on and go and then. Yeah. So now this is the extension. Right. So all you have to do is click on add to Chrome. That is email extractor. Then click on add extension. We have to wait for it to download and install on our browser. And because of this extension, I am recommending Google Chrome browser for you right so we are done so we just have to click on the extension icon then click on the pin icon in front of our extension that we installed right so as you can see this is it so let's go back to our search query so now you just have to refresh the page now as you can see on the icon we have five written on top of it what it means is that we have gathered five emails just now Okay, so that is it. But because we cannot have a lot of search results, we have to do it manually by scrolling to the bottom and clicking on the next. So when it clicks on the next, it will gather the emails on this page and add it to the ex uh, to the extension. Okay, the email extractor. So if you see, if you check and it hasn't added, you just have to what refresh once again and it will add to that for you. You understand? So keep on going to the next pages to add more and more and more and more and more but sometimes this extension lacks so i will advise you that whenever you gather email from each page copy and paste it somewhere okay so for instance i've gathered like six emails from this result i just have to um select all okay then click on copy open my notepad then paste it in you understand then i'll go to the next page and keep on doing this till I gather as many emails that I want. Yeah, so this is how you can scrap emails from Google Search using the email extractor tool. All right, it's, it is kind of difficult, but you have to cope with it. If you don't want to go to the hard way, then you can find software that can help you to extract these emails. And those softwares are not free. Like I have a couple of these softwares that can help you grab a lot of emails. But they are not free you understand so if you don't want to pay any money you go with the hard way and this is a hard way yeah so thank you for watching this video i am still reminding you if you want to learn how to create an smtp server i have a course on udemy i'll leave the link in the description and also the first comment make sure you subscribe like this video if you want more of this content if you want other option on how you can gather emails i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel i'll leave the link at the description and also i'll be creating video about how you can validate your emails all right as the previous tool that i use is is now outdated okay so i have a fresh tool that can validate your emails for you yes so thank you and let's meet in the next video